Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I was recently talking in one of my camcorder groups on Facebook. There's a very good one for Canon XA40 camcorder owners talking about uh, something related to microphones and someone mentioned uh, that using a pistol microphone grip would be a good idea. Now I must admit I had never heard of these things, but I'm gonna explain uh, what they are, what you can use them for, and a quicker and cheaper way to make one for yourself. So basically, when you are using a shotgun microphone, like the one I have, uh, I'm speaking into on top of my camcorder here, uh, generally the, they're very directional and the closer you can get them to the voice of the speaker without crossing into the frame line, the better the audio pickup you're usually going to get. So in big movie productions, uh, people are probably familiar with the sight of a boom operator who's got a big pole and a shotgun microphone at the end and his job is to get it in. Something that someone recommended that people can do on a more kind of rookie or a solo operator friendly level is to just have a decent XLR cable and put your um, shotgun microphone into a uh, shock mount and then if you've got one hand on the camera you can have one hand on your microphone and sort of try to do a DIY boom job yourself of trying to get the mic in closer to your uh, interview subject. So you can do this by yourself or if you have a second person that'd be great. Now I was, expect I was not expecting these devices, they're basically just a hand grip and a shock mount together. I wasn't expecting them to really cost as much as they did. I didn't, I only found one or two on Amazon and they were like a hundred bucks and a lot of people were complaining about the price of them. So I thought to myself, well, I probably actually already have enough stuff in my camera box to make these uh, without even needing to get anything new. And it turns out I did. So let me show you uh, what you can do if you wanna save yourself a bit of money. First thing I, I had is this pistol grip and I use this for my old camcorder, the Canon Vixia HFR 800. And it's just a little thing that fits into your hand like this. It makes it a bit easier to grip and stabilize your camcorder. It has a quarter inch head and little uh, thumb mechanism. The second thing I needed is a uh, shock mount. This is a rather large shock mount. You can get them in different sizes. I um, mean, you have to pay attention to the uh, thread size on the inside. This is where it starts to get very finicky because if anyone, anyone who's experimented with microphones and audio gear knows there is one over four, three over eight, and five over eight. What I find helpful is buying a, a thread adapter kit that gives you a ton of different uh, permutations. So this, what I have here, to the best of my knowledge, it's one over four female, that's uh, one over four female at the bottom here, and coming up as a three over eight male. So it's a female to male uh, thread size extender, I guess, because we're adding to the thread size. So taking my shock mount, I simply screw in my uh, thread adapter, making sure it's uh, good and tight. So now that's all the way in. And then I just take my grip. Now it's definitely, as you can see, this is not a work of uh, beauty. There we go. I'm just making sure it's screwed fully, but it should get the job done. So now I've got myself a little handheld grip and what I can do is just thread a microphone through this with the decently, decently sized XLR cable, and I can even adjust the position of the microphone here. And then, with one hand on my camera, I can actually, and it's gonna, might look a little bit funny, uh, but I can use this for a sort of a manual boom method. So that's a way, if you don't wanna pay the $90 for one of these and you happen to have, or you can even buy these uh, com components by components. These are about 10, $15, the pistol grips, shock mounts probably the same, and thread adapters are a couple of dollars each. So the cumulative, to cumulative cost of these components is still actually gonna be uh, quite a bit less than the uh, ready assembled ones, but uh, it won't look quite as pretty, arguably, uh, but this should get the job done. And I've been using it for a couple of videos, I just played around with it, and uh, seems to do a good job at getting you're uh, getting the microphone in closer to the person you're trying to record. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to get more videos from me about everything related to camcorders, technology, and other subjects, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.